knitting podcast. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the content and if you're a returning viewer welcome back <laughs> and um, I will talk about my knitting mostly today or only and uh, it ha has been a while that I recorded it has been like three weeks or something um, because yeah due to everything that happens in life <laughs> work children uh, illnesses unfortunately Um, I hope uh, everyone is doing well um, and um, uh, but yes today I found some time to record again so I'm very very happy um, I would like to, like to talk luck to talk I would like to talk about what I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing the April cardigan uh, from Petite Knit uh, she uh, has a lot of beautiful patterns Petite Knit so if you don't <laughs> Uh, if you do not yet know Petit Knit, really check out the patterns because they're beautiful. Uh, I made it with uh, Ilimani Santi um, yarn and I bought it at Cross and Woods in The Hague, in the Netherlands of course. <laughs> By the way, I'm from the Netherlands. And uh, it's a mix of alpaca, silk and mulberry bush, I think, something like that. I was really amazed. Uh, but I really, um, it's it's quite an expensive yarn, uh, especially because it's uh, being, uh, how you say, the, the price is being held honestly for the farmer. So that's what I really appreciate. So, uh, My mother wanted to make a blanket out of it, but it's, it peels a little bit too much for a blanket. So it was difficult for her to uh, readjust uh, any mistakes she made. So she eventually um, decided to not make a blanket of, uh, of it and uh, she wanted to give me the, the yarn. So uh, I actually, well, she didn't buy that much. So I had to buy maybe two skeins. And then I had a cardigan. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy this detail. So it's the it's a saddleback shoulder, and uh, yeah, I really am enjoying this cardigan a lot, especially during uh, the Christmas time. I'm going to adjust you a little bit. Um, and um, I thought <laughs> it looks quite Christmassy to wear the the, the green. Uh, dress I'm wearing and uh, this nice red uh, cardigan on top of it. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to start talking and I'm starting to laugh a little bit <laughs> because um, I almost feel ashamed. No, not ashamed, but uh, how, you, how you say that? Um, uh, I hesitate a little bit to show you my... Uh, work in progress. Oh no, I forget to tell you. Uh, I finished my um, mittens. So I sh uh, showed you this one last time, but I'm going to write a pattern about it. And now there are already some knitters testing it. So I hope I can uh, launch the pattern next week. <laughs> so uh, probably I won't be recording next week because of the business of everything that has to be happening on school. Uh, my children go to the uh, Waldorf school. So uh, yeah, it asks a lot of um, attention and time of the parents as well. So uh, probably next week won't be able to record. Oh, there was a little bird coming up, very nice. Um, but just uh, uh, watch my Instagram stories because I will post there if uh, my pattern will launch. Um, so back to <laughs> the thing that I wanted to show you, uh, uh, which uh, made, me, made me smile a little bit. <laughs> It's the chestnut cardigan from Marie Wallin. And yes, I started over again because 
I started it one and a half year ago and then I wasn't very new to color work but I wanted to try different techniques and I think that made my uh, tension uh, a little bit tighter so I started on uh, size L and it started very good so uh, the, the bottom edge was a good fit but then I uh, started knitting it again a couple of months ago and then my uh, uh, tension was a little bit more loose so my gauge was looser so it was underneath the gauge was 27 stitches for 10 centimeters and above it was like a uh, how do you say um, like this shape and above it was uh, 30 three stitches no it's, it's the other way around Marlene it's the other way around it was 32 33 stitches underneath and above it was 27 stitches and that was the gauge <laughs> something like that <laughs> I, I just couldn't meet the gauge and um, it was really disappointing of course and first I thought, I kept on knitting because I thought, well, it's nice to see that I made some progress and you can see it. But eventually I got like um, uh, such a big range, it was really too wide. So I had to uh, get it out and then start uh, size medium. And um, I didn't change the needles. So that's quite... Um, challenge now for the gauge again but I uh, uh, measured it and I am at the right gauge at this moment and it's very very nice because now it starts really nice and very beautiful so I really am enjoying it and uh, I'm just going to knit on it like every day two rounds and when I feel like it three rounds <laughs> And then I can do something else. Uh, so actually that gives me more freedom in creativity. So um, I feel like that works better for me to uh, have a lot of different kind of knitting uh, projects. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but it gives me more creativity to have more knitting projects so I don't get too focused on one but eventually that's also um, the cause of that I forgot this one yeah and I forgot that I had a very tight uh, gauge actually um, another thing I at the moment I'm knitting on two no frill sweaters from Petite Knit uh, I knitted up on a four millimeter needle. I always like enjoy seeing saying millimeter uh, in, in English. In Dutch is millimeter, but in English it's like millimeter, millimeter needle, millimeter needle. <laughs> you can say it's very fast. So uh, okay, uh, I um, first knitted it, knit it, it knitted it. For my mother uh, in uh, something scarn sunday i held it double two strands and i made on the upper body as well in size xs so my gauge is off <laughs> that's actually something that we can really establish uh, also because i held them i'm uh, holding them double I, there was in the pattern it's re uh, recommended to uh, keep the Sunday um, together with the mohair and that it's a little bit more airy but because of this it gets a little bit bigger okay but for my mother I made XS for the upper body and the lower body I increased until 3XL and so uh, but I enjoyed it so much how it was uh, on my upper body uh the sweater of my mother 
<laughs> Do you understand? So the sweater of my mother, it fitted me very nice on my upper body. Upper, upper body. <laughs> and uh, so that's why I wanted to make uh, a new one for myself as well. And I'm very, very happy I did. Um, so this is the back actually. <laughs> And uh, I split it already for the, the sleeves. And now I only need to did straight forward for the body and then the arms. And then I have a very, very nice, comfy and cozy uh, sweater for underneath a cardigan. And that's what I was really longing for this winter. So I will hope I will finish it. And I also um, made an appointment with myself to, uh, or agreed upon myself, to uh, knit up uh, for it uh, also um, like two or three rounds a day at least. And when I'm in the knitting flow, I can go continue. But I, yeah, that I, so that there's a little bit more progress every day in this one. I'm really enjoying it and looking forward that it's finished because it's gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. Then, <laughs> my daughter, um, Actually, both of my daughters, they enjoy wearing uh, knitted sweaters a lot. And they, you know, uh, last year I made two of them and they are blue. And now they are really gray because they have been worn so, so much. And of course, with children, I, I tend not to uh, wash the um, knitted garments that much. Uh, of course, it's not necessary because wool is cleansing from itself um, and but with children sometimes there are really a lot of stains on the sweaters so i tend to wash those more than my own knitted garments and that's why they turned a little bit gray <laughs> but so i still had some uh, malabrigo rios where i also made the sweater for uh, my eldest last year um, and I'm knitting up the moraine sweater again. And of course, this is merino. It's superwash merino. I cannot really recommend it to use it for uh, uh, a stranded work or color work like this. But for some reason, it appeals to me. <laughs> Do you say it like that? I really enjoy, for some reason, the the... The, the, that actually the, the stitches don't flow into one another. I don't know why, but I just enjoy it a lot. So that's why I'm actually enjoying knitting with superwash um, merino wool with color work. So, and of course the children adore the merino wool. So I think uh, I will just continue <laughs> finishing this. Uh, I'm making size XS. It's not visible because I'm uh, having a small circumference is I need to change uh, needles now or at least the the, the cable and um, yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm going to make it a little bit different I also did added some uh, short rows uh, so it will be a little bit more to the front because the moraine sweater doesn't have any uh, short rows and the moraine sweater by the way is from Tim Kent Knits and they have every size so the moraine sweater go, uh, goes uh, from, I think, yeah, like small, <laughs> really small, like maybe uh, two to four years is the smallest, or, or maybe one to two years, and then until adult size. So that's really, really nice. And, um, uh, <laughs> and I'm also making use a lot of it from it. Um, so this will be XS. And uh, I will uh, use a little bit more white, so more dots through the whole pattern, uh, because I don't have that much blue anymore for the whole sweater. But yeah, oh, look at that, so cute. Yeah, and my daughter is really, really happy that I started knitting for her again. <laughs> because I said actually, no, mommy has so many things that she needs to finish. And, uh, and then she said, yeah, but mom, I enjoy it so much. And this one is already getting too small, uh, the sweater. I need a new one. And so, yeah, I thought, well, just make a new one. <laughs> and then 
because my chestnut was like um yeah how you say that uh didn't work out that well <laughs> i uh um I uh, yeah, I told myself you can also make something that you want to make a very for a very very long time, and also because it's a different technique of knitting. Uh, so I cast it on the uh, Moby sweater. Ta da! Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a, a pattern by Petite Knits, and um, it's I use Double Sunday from Sunday Scarn, also from Petite Knits. I also, because the this double Sunday is supposed to be knitted with mohair, I'm not doing that. Uh, but I also have beer gint, and I, that's a little bit more thicker yarn. And I can also uh, knit it up this one for. Uh, I will also use beer gint for this um, pattern, and um, uh, beer gint. Uh, is a little bit thicker than this one, but uh, I'm making this one in the light size L and I think I will make the another one in Pier Gint and it's a little bit darker, uh, more brownish. I will make it in M. But uh, and this is the back. So first you start with uh, knitting up the back and then you go to the front side and then you knit, uh, how you say, the left shoulder, then the right shoulder. And then you, uh, how you say, um, knit them together. Uh, and then first knit up uh, flat. And then until the armpits, or a little bit, because it's supposed to be a little bit like here. Uh, then you join into the round and uh, knit the bottom in the round. Yeah, very nice. So that's the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think it's going to be very, very nice. I've never had a sweater like this. And I'm really, really looking forward to having this. <laughs> so uh, this is actually my um, enjoying the Christmassy vibe uh, work, <laughs> knitting work. Um, I'm looking around what I wanted to talk to you about as well. I'm going to um, participate with Edna for the Jufante uh, knit along, so for the, the gloves. And I was gifted these two from Edna. Very, very nice. It's Svensk Ul 4 TR. It's pure Swedish wool. It's 100 grams for 135 meters. And uh, the pattern is for four, no, five millimeter needle um, uh, to, to knit upon. And um, yeah, I'm already late <laughs> because it's already started the 13th of December. And uh, they uh, actually, it's a free pattern that they use. And every time there's a, um, a uh, how you say, uh, every couple of days, there's a new pattern to get to the next part. So it's like a mystery kind of knit along, uh, but very nice to do. So I need to start <laughs> as well. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to discuss, I uh, last time I told about that I was a little bit, had some difficulties with choosing buttons and that I uh, enjoyed uh, wooden buttons a lot. And um, Floor van Rijnsoever, she's a Dutch lady. Uh, she has a web shop uh, in the coming future. <laughs> and it will call, be called uh, a Dutch name, of course, Atelier Bond en Blauw. Um, and she gifted me uh, buttons. Uh, so I want to show you some of them. Like these. I, oh, so nice. I really, really, and they're all wooden. They're so beautiful. I really enjoy these. And these are a little bit bigger. And then she gifted these. Oh, so cute. And let me see. I've shown this one. No. These two. So this is a heart. And this is a, a, a leaf. Or no, a flower, sorry. <laughs> a leaf. And also some... Uh, normal wooden like this one and this one 
so cute. And as well, I don't know how you say them, we call them wooden string. Houtje touwtje. <laughs> very nice. Um, so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much, Floor. Uh, and I will use them, of course. Uh, if you like the buttons, of course, check out um, on Instagram or on her website. I hope uh, I've tried to search it for it, but it will come uh, um, online in the nearest future. But um, I already saw that she has some, um, I say, um, information to contact her on uh, Instagram. Um, I hope you liked it. <laughs> like the content um i'm going coming to the end of my uh, podcast i hope i will be able to record next week but i'm not sure <laughs> yet it's a busy busy time um and uh, if not i think it's better just to let it go <laughs> for me and uh, to see you next uh, in the new year in 2024 um i always need to get adjusted for the new year the new number i don't know if you also have that the same problem but it always feels a little bit um unusual or yeah not um yeah like new <laughs> and um yeah i don't know i'm just uh, rambling rambling or, uh, about some things i want to um uh, wish you a very very nice christmas 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 and a Happy New Year and um, I hope you enjoy your knits and uh, enjoy your family if possible and um, yeah 